Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about restaurant menu and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a QR code for your restaurant menu? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a QR code for your restaurant menu anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. From time to time, prices change on your restaurant menu. So instead of having to reprint them out every single time, if you set up a QR code and a website, you can easily make updates and you don't have to print it out again. Everything will be automatically updated through the QR code. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. And how I normally do this is going to be through Canva. This is going to be a free process. You don't need to pay for anything. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Canva account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and create a restaurant menu QR code, you're going to click here on the search bar and type in restaurant menu. Okay. Once you do that, you'll see all of the templates for restaurant menus. Go ahead and click here on see all. Okay. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and choose the template for your menu. I'm not going to go into exact detail on how to create the menu. If you need help setting that up, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. I'm just going to show you how to quickly create a menu and then share it as a QR code. Now, when you're choosing a menu, make sure that you know that if it has a golden crown right there, it's going to be a pro plan. So you need to pay for it. If you want the free ones, click right here on all filters and then scroll to the bottom over here and click on free and apply. Okay. So these are all the free templates. So we'll go ahead and choose this one. All right. I'm going to click on customize this template. Okay. Once you do that, it's going to open up the editor. So you can go ahead and zoom in down here with this little bar. All right. And then you just click in and change the items. You can even add pictures if you want over here on the right and just grab the image and just drag it on over. If you have images of your food or you want to change the background, you can go and drop it right there and you see it changes. And then here you just click in and then you can change item name. You can go in here, change the price. So $25. Okay. So you can go in here and also add other pages. So if we shrink that down, we can go in here and duplicate the page. Okay. Now it's duplicated and you can just go in through and edit. So this would be the main menu page two. So maybe this is appetizer at another page. It would be page three, maybe drinks. So that's just a quick rundown on how to create a menu. Now, in order to share it as a QR code, what you're going to do is up here on the top, right? Click on share. Okay. And you're going to see this pop down menu and click on see all. Okay. And next thing you want to do is there's a couple of different ways you can do this. So you can go ahead and download this as a PDF and then put it into your Google drive with the Google drive. You'll be able to get the link that goes directly to your menu. However, if you do that, you need to come back in here and make an edit and then download again and put it into your Google drive and then share a new link. So normally what I'm going to do, if I'm going to share a restaurant menu QR code, I'm just going to create a free website in Canva. So right here, website. Okay. So here you can go ahead and change the name of the website. So I'm going to do Anthony menu. Okay. So once you've created that, go ahead and click on publish website right now it's preparing the website. Okay. So now we have created a website for our menu. So we can go ahead and just visit website. Okay. So here is our menu. So now we need to create a QR code. So I'm just going to copy this link because this link is going to be important. We can always go back into Canva and make the edits, but you need to use a free program like tiny URL or bit.ly. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use tiny URL. Okay guys. So I went ahead and opened up tiny URL. This is a free service. They do have paid plans, but if you're just looking for a QR code for your restaurant menu, just go here to tinyurl.com. And then here on the homepage, you're going to shorten along your, so we're just going to paste our link right here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is click on shorten URL. Okay. So here is our link to our menu, but to create a QR code, you just click on this QR button. Okay. Now it creates this QR code. So anybody who goes to this QR code, if they scan it, it's going to go to our menu on Canva. So we can go ahead and print it out as an SVG, a PNG, whichever one you want. So I'll just do a PNG. Okay. The PNG saved my desktop. Let me open it. Okay. Here is our restaurant menu QR code. So when this is scanned, it's going to go to my Canva website of our menu. So now if we need to go back in and change some menu items, we just go back into our free menu account. Okay. Here's our Canva. And then we're just going to zoom in and let's just say that we want to change the price from $25 to, I don't know, $23. Well, let me click on edit design. Okay. So now we can go ahead and edit it. So we'll go $23. Okay. 23. So now what's going to happen is even though I changed it to $23 right here, when you scan that QR code, it's automatically going to be updated because this is set up as a website in Canva. So we can always come back in. We can change the pictures on the background every day. If we want, we can change the menu items daily if we need to. And it's always going to match up with that QR code that we have from tiny URL. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to create a QR code for your restaurant menu, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.